Iran now says it has shot down an Israeli spy drone near one of Iran's nuclear sites. Israel has no comment. As part of multilateral talks on its nuclear capacity, Iran has opened a uranium enrichment facility in this same area the drone was shot down. And in the Gaza conflict, new raids by Hamas and Israel leave scores of casualties. Each side refuses to back down, with civilians caught in the crossfire. CCTV's Roe Ruttenberg has more from Tel Aviv. Residents of the Al Zafar Tower in Gaza City returned home on Sunday to salvage whatever they could. The multi story complex was hit by an Israeli airstrike the previous night. The attack surprised most locals, even those who had grown accustomed to the magnitude of violence in recent weeks. We were shocked. The last thing we were expecting is that the Israeli forces target a civilian residential tower where there are around 500 to 600 people. It was approximately 14 floors. This is shocking. This is another eviction. It is another eviction of the people. Meanwhile, elsewhere in the city, dozens attended the funeral of a man killed in an Israeli airstrike on Saturday when his car was hit. Another casualty in the latest tit-for-tat violence. Efforts in nearby Cairo have so far failed to convince both sides to stop firing. On the Israeli side of the border, troops waited for possible orders to re-enter Gaza by foot. This as Israeli leaders vowed that the offensive, dubbed Operation Protective Edge, would continue until the attacks stopped. If Hamas leaders think they can tire us out or believe that we have set ourselves a timetable, they are mistaken. We are not in a hurry to go anywhere. We have patience. We have stamina. Just a few kilometers away from Gaza, the Tragerman family buried their four-year-old son. He was killed on Friday, struck inside his kibbutz Nachal Oz home by shrapnel from a Palestinian-fired rocket. The family had been preparing to evacuate again the following day. The Israeli military said it warned residents of the Al-Zafar complex to evacuate, noting that the building contained a command center of Hamas, the Islamist group. It is fighting residents, deny the accusation, but the attack on that large structure, the largest in seven weeks of fighting, has left many fearing the worst may be yet to come. Rowie Ruttenberg, CCTV, Tel Aviv.